the far right have a story. You're in a shitty situation because Muslims are taking your jobs and they're taking all the benefits. Ah, ah, what is this halal shit? Oh, you calm down, calm down. <laughs> It gives you an enemy, it gives you a solution, it gives you a way of understanding the world and a purpose. You can find chillingly young people with very scary views. Muslims don't integrate, migrants are changing the country and taking all the resources and ruining the NHS. So those very kind of common right-wing tropes. Sometimes a child might be repeating things they've heard from either their parents or they've read online. Um, you know, things like, oh, well, I, I've heard that Muslims hate uh, non-Muslims, that, you know, all Muslims are trying to kill non-Muslims if they can and stuff like that. I was a little nervous, the, you know, the first few times where you don't know who's going to be there. You spend as much time as possible with people. You uh, try to gain their trust. So I think there was a lot of, you know, sense of this would be hard to do, but also potentially that it might legitimise um, that kind of politics, and, and so there might be some negative uh, effects of, of, of engaging too closely. Kind of look down on yourself and think, God, who am I? It's because the Muslims are taking over, taking our jobs, our houses. You've seen it. They're taking over our neighbourhoods. We need to do something about it. Let's go, let's go. It's not only ever. It felt very close, actually. Gethin loses his job or he's no longer got any hours and he's chucked out of the house, becomes homeless. Those are key turning points. It very strongly resonates with the experiences of people I've come across and had to challenge and uh, sometimes uh, experience the hate from. What about the indigenous population? I mean, if we're Muslim, they come in, they get everything. Fuck off! Well, most bigoted forms of extremism uh, it's a conception, you know, um, it's, it's an image in the mind. Someone says, you know, um, I hate all Muslims. They'll be like, well, what about me? Oh, well, you're different. What about the guy who, you know, serves you in the corner shop? Oh, no, he's, he's one of the good ones. Some of the, the really painful stories um, were to do with housing. Jean, who used to live there, she always used to say that we should have the house. That's gone, it's allocated. To? A family moving in today. You often get to see who's got a house that you've gone for. Um, and that led to a lot of confirmation for people that pe newcomers, people who were coming in either to the area or, or from into the country, were being prioritised in the housing list over there. The migrants have come here from Europe and abroad and Pakistan and they've taken this wonderful country of yours which was all about helping you and they've made it crap and they've made it for themselves. That's their life, that's what they've seen, that's how they've experienced things. And they've been able to understand this through using some of the ideas that the far right have given them. How do you fix it? Oh, it's easy. You go burn down a mosque, you go drive with a van in front of a group of worshippers, you take out the threat, you take out those who are trying to hurt you. Where they've ended up is just a desperate attempt to find, you know, to find a solution to the things that are really going on. If they've lost their job, they've, lost, they've fallen out of education, they can't express themselves, they have less and less to lose. Radicalisation. It's, you know, it's the obvious way to go. That's it. That's fucking it. That's good. Many people feel that they're being silenced in the political sphere or they don't have the right background or the right credentials to be allowed to speak, and that is actually fueling a more radical version of their politics. That's the truth. I went down to John Smith house today, and an immigrant tells me that I have an immigrant live here. The value that they have had traditionally has been eroded. You know, it's not, it's not venerated in, you know, in a way perhaps that it used to be. There's a lot of uh, dark corners, um, and there's a lot of hopelessness. I think those elements can be exploited. It's very much about saying, you know, look, what about me? You know, it, it's, it, it's quite often literally that, you know, don't, don't forget, don't forget us. You know, we know there are lots of other issues going on, but, but we, you know, we're in a bad place here and, and we need to do something about it.